Well, I know I got hit with it Christmas week. It seems like the flu is just out of control and it's spreading, but it's not only for us humans. Monique Conway from Humane Society of Southern Arizona is here to talk about the canine flu as well. But our guest today, no canine flu. Right. <laughs> and she's received the vaccine, ready to go home. <laughs> yeah, so we are clear with the canine flu uh, for Andy, right? Is this Andy? Right. So Andy is a one year old girl who's been searching for her forever home since July of last year. So she is our longest term pet um, by a long shot. And we just don't understand why. She's so sweet, so loving. Um, she would do best with an active family. I've actually taken her myself out of the shelter to go for a hike, and she did great. I mean, she would scrape mountains for you um, just to go anywhere with you. She's really loving. We're really hoping that somebody's watching right now that'll see her and just fall in love. Um, she's really healthy. There's no medical problems. She's very soft. She's got a really nice thick coat. I can't say enough about her. She knows how to sit. She knows how to stay. She knows everything a great dog would need to know. <laughs> I'm making super sad face because when you say since July, I'm just like, oh, poor baby. And can I tell you that if I brought Stout right now on TV, he would not sit this nicely. So the fact that she is just really well behaved, and like you said, even when we go out, great on a leash, great on, you know, adventures, I... I think that's why I think it's so important that you bring the dogs here because we get to see them in a different way. Um, right. Instead of, you know, always maybe at the shelter, uh, they come here, they get out, and you kind of see them doing their own thing. Right. Like you what Andy's see, doing right now. She's a lot more comfortable. She was comfortable with me because she spent the whole day with me. Um, in her kennel, she does tend to get really anxious, and we know she's done great with other dogs. She's been paired with several dogs, and unfortunately, she's watched them all go home oh. while she's just waiting for the right person. I think I'm emotional or something. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. Um, so let, we're going to go back to Andy, but I know I was mentioning the flu and the canine flu. Uh, when we see canine flu, is there a vaccine for that, like w when we get our flu shot? Absolutely. So oh. there's a canine flu shot that we actually offer at our spay and neuter clinic. We do a low-cost vaccine clinic clinic every Wednesday and Saturday. So I definitely recommend stopping by. The vaccine's only $13 and it'll prevent your pet from getting sick. So prevention is always better than having to put them through treatment. And we of course mentioned that the, the dogs at uh, Humane Society get their dog, get their canine flu shot. Uh, so once, let's hypothetically say your dog does get the canine flu, what are some of those treatments? Um, well, it can be treated with medication, but it's only systematic. So okay. like if they have nasal discharge or they're coughing or sneezing, um, your veterinarian will treat that. But unfortunately there is no like canine flu medication. Oh, so how do dogs get the canine flu? Is it like humans, like being around other dogs with the flu? Right. Okay. So if you suspect that your dog has it, yeah. you want to go ahead and contact your veterinarian right away. But if you are concerned or if your dog hasn't received any vaccines yet, you want to make sure that you stay away from boarding kennels, doggy daycare, dog parks, anywhere where there's a lot of action yeah. and a lot of dogs. And I know we're talking about uh, canine flu vaccinations right now, but another thing you guys, of course, do uh, is spay and neuter. And we've got World Spay Day coming up next month. Right, so World Spay Day is the last Tuesday of February, mm -hmm. but our spay and neuter clinic, obviously that's a big mission of yeah. ours to make sure everybody's spayed and neutered. So they're gonna celebrate the whole month of February. And this is gonna be a really great promotion where you can get your female dog, as long as they're between three weeks and three years and under 60 pounds, you can get them spayed for free. So all you have to do is call and make an appointment. That's it. Call, make an appointment, and it's free. <laughs> so we, of course, need to do it before spay day, which is, uh, what, the 27th? Correct. Uh, and then, of course, those spots are limited, so we want to make sure to get on that. Don't procrastinate. Right, absolutely. And I want to go back to Andy because I am. I'm feeling a little emotional today because I've been in there since July and watched all your other doggy friends go home. I can't help it. You guys, let me give you the information for that spay appointment uh, one more time. If you book a spay appointment before February 27th, it will be free, free, free. To learn more, please visit HSSAZ org or you can give them a call at 520-327-6088 with any of your questions.